Corner with Jen from the Blue Mountains Public Library. Week two's activity theme is hibernation. Do you know what hibernation is? Well, hibernation is when some animals um, sleep for a very, very long period of time during the cold winter months. And in order for them to do that, they prepare in the fall. They eat a lot of food and they, you know, have to put on a lot of weight to keep them safe for their winter rest. So, hibernation is the theme. Um, you'll get a super fun hibernating animal word search that lets you know all the different animals that actually do sleep through the winter months. So connect the dots. We also have um, our bilingual activity and depending on if you're a junior or a primary, in the primary age group, um, the primary kids will be getting a color and trace bilingual activity sheet. There's some fun mazes again. And of course, on the last page of our activity book is our craft corner. So you'll get your activity book. You'll get most of your supplies that you will need to make your craft. You will also find another one of these. So again, if you forgot to do it uh, within the first week, you can still do it. It's a little card letting, so you can let us know what your favorite type of book is, if you have a favorite author, a favorite genre, or if there's um, a certain series of books that you would be interested in reading. You can let us know. We can pull those books out for you and get them ready for your next week's uh, kit. And then we have our super fun bookmarks and this week instead of jokes because we had jokes last week we have hibernation facts so i'm going to give you guys a quick fact a black bear can gain up to 30 pounds a week while preparing to hibernate 30 pounds a week could you imagine if we put on 30 pounds a week holy smokes so for our activity we are going to be making our own popsicle stick hibernating bears. You guys can use these as bookmarks. You can hang them, you can build and then dismantle and build and dismantle, whatever you like. Uh, what we provide for supplies in your kit will be the popsicle sticks. So you should have four. We'll supply you with some googly eyes. If you don't want to use them, you don't have to. You can always draw your eyes. Um, some brown paper and some yarn. What you will need from home will be some glue, a black marker, some scissors, and then once you have all that, we'll be ready to go. So I'll meet you right back here and we'll be on to our first step of our super fun popsicle stick bear. All right, so hopefully you have all the supplies you're gonna need. Ready to go, because we are on to our first step. So you're going to take three out of the four popsicles right now. So we're gonna use them. You're gonna lay them out. Oops, here we go. Lay them out right now on your brown construction paper. You are then going to, with your marker, draw a line at the top of a popsicle stick and to the side and at the bottom. So just like that. And then you're gonna cut out that rectangle shape. If you need some help from a grown up to cut out your rectangle, please ask. We are going to glue our popsicle sticks to the back of this paper to hold them together. So here we go, one, two, and three. So mine's a little too wide, so I'm gonna trim it. All right, one, two, three. And when, before you glue it, clumsy fingers here, you're going to leave an overhang at the very top of the popsicles. So you're going to have a little bit of the brown sticking up. Okay, so you guys get these three popsicle sticks glued onto your brown, re ooh, brown rectangle and we're going to be right back here. Okay, before we start with our next step, fact number two. Did you know that 65% of the water in a wood frog's body turns to ice during winter hibernation? 
The frogs stay frozen for up to seven months before thawing out. And then once they thaw out, they're just fine. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, so we should have our popsicle sticks glued onto some brown paper. So now we're going to take our scissors. We're gonna cut a couple of ear shapes for our bear. Just like that. Okay, so step number two. We're gonna take a small piece of our brown paper and we're going to cut like an oval shape for his nose. So an oval is like a, like a longer circle. So like this, not perfectly round, almost like an egg shape, but rounder at the top and bottom. Okay, so I made mine a little bit too big. So I'm gonna trim it again. Okay, and then that's going to be his snout. So we're gonna quickly glue that down. Okay, and we are now going to put our googly eyes onto Mr. Bear. So just remember if you're using white glue, these steps might take you a little bit longer just because the glue has to dry. If you have a hot glue gun and you'd like to use it, always make sure that you have a grown up to help you with it. Okay, so there, and now I'm going to draw his nose and his mouth on the brown. We're gonna give him a nice, big, smiley mouth. Okay, so here we go. Now we're going to take a couple of, cut another piece of brown paper, and we're going to cut out two smaller ovals. So about this size here. for his feet. And then, oops, that's got a funny point on it, so I'm just gonna trim that. We're gonna put it down at the bottom. Like that. And then I'll get the second one on there as well. Oh, and we're going to draw a pad and some toes. Okay, so let's give him a nice bear pad here. One, two, and three. Nice pad on this side here. One, two, and three. Now I'm just going to kind of fix ears because I think they look a little bit funny. There we go. So this is what our bear should look like right now. Then you're going to take your yarn. Yours will be in a much neater ball than this one. So I can't even find the end of mine. So I'm just going to get trim that knot and Fix it later. So now you're going to give your bear a sweater. So I'm going to put a dab of glue on the back to secure my yarn while I'm wrapping. And let's go for 50 wraps. Can we count to 50? 
Okay, so let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, halfway there, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three. 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, last one, 50. Good job, guys. So then we're going to cut that. And now, if you want, this is before you glue the second piece down, you can kind of stretch it out just like that. Just like this. There we go. And then once you have it positioned, you can glue that last bit of yarn down to secure it. Okay, and now, if you'd like, you don't have to do this step, but if you'd like, get a grown up to help you because you can either use your scissors to kind of um, score your popsicle stick Snap it. If you can't snap it, again, ask a grown-up to help you either snap the stick for you or they can cut it for you. So I'm gonna just take a little chunk off of that one just to make it a bit shorter. And this one here, and I'm gonna glue it to the back of my sweater. Just as so. Next one here as well. Oh, and now we can give them some fingers here too. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Round pad. And there you have it guys, you have your own hibernating sleeping bear. Last fact from our amazing bookmarks. During hibernation, many animals heart rate and breathing slow down. Hibernating bats can go up to an hour between breaths. So they have, instead of like, you know, 12 breaths per minute, they have one breath per hour. Pretty interesting. So use your teddy bear, uh, or sorry, use your hibernating bear as a bookmark. Have lots of fun with it. And we'll meet you guys back right here next week on our BMPL YouTube channel at 4.30 for some more Kids Clubhouse Craft Corner. Until then, bye for now. See ya.